हेलो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू थियोरी ऑफ कंप्यूटेशन लेक्चर सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन आर्डन्स थियरम विथ एन एग्जांपल इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन द आर्डन्स थियरम इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड द आर्डन्स थियरम विथ एन एग्जांपल स्टेप बाय स्टेप नाउ लेट अस सी व्हाट इज द प्रॉब्लम डेफिनेशन Here we are interested in converting a given NFA to a regular expression RE using the Arden's theorem. What is the problem statement? Construct a regular expression for the given NFA. So here we are going to see an NFA, and we are going to convert this NFA to a regular expression using the Arden's theorem. As you can see here, my dear friends, this is a three-state non-deterministic finite automata. Now, why it is a non-deterministic finite automata? Because here you can see from the state Q zero, which is also a starting state, there are two transitions for the letter A. So here there is this self loop for this A, and from Q zero, if you read A, you can also go to Q one. Also for this state Q one. There is this self loop for A, and on reading A from Q1, we can also go to the state Q2, which is a final state. So hence, this is a non-deterministic finite automata. For the given NFA, there are three states: Q0, Q1, Q2. So we will have three equations to reach to a given state. So we are going to have three equations. Which we are going to use in Arden's theorem, and these equations will be derived based on the transitions which make us reach to this particular state. Now, for this state Q zero, let us see. There is this Q zero. If you read A, you go to Q zero. Okay, so this is one incoming H two Q zero. So from state Q zero, if you read A. You are going to the state Q zero. Same way, from the state Q zero on reading B, we are going to the state Q zero. So from Q zero on reading B, we are going to the state Q zero. Now since Q zero is a initial state, we will also have a null transition because from nowhere we are reaching this state Q zero. as this is the starting state we have to reach this state from somewhere to get the transitions done on this particular finite automata now from where we do we get to this q0 we don't know hence we say that there is a null transition leading us to the state q0 this is only for the starting state in the same way for the state q1 if you read a from q0 you are reaching Q1. So from Q0 on reading A, we are going to Q1. In the same way, from the state Q1, if you read A, we are going to the state Q1. So here we have Q1 A Q1. So we have this equation for Q1 as Q0 A plus Q1 A. So from Q0, if you read A, you are reaching Q1 and from q1 if you are reading a we are going to q1 in the same way for q2 from state q1 if we read a we are going to q2 so q1 a then this plus plus indicates or because there are multiple incoming edges to this state q2 same way for q1 and same way for q0 so from q2 if you read a or b we are going to Q2. So Q2 A is also taking me to Q2, and Q2 B is also taking me to Q2. Now on this three equations, we have to apply the Arden's theorem so that we get the equation in the form of the state which is a final state. Here Q2 is a final state, so it contains the regular expression, but it should be free from all the states in the equation here 
in q2 we can see that it is q1a plus q2a plus q2b so we have to remove this q1 q2 from this state and we will get the equation which will be my regular expression for this given non-deterministic finite auto beta now for getting this regular expression here we can see here that it contains q1 and q2 now q2 we can solve using the Arden's theorem but this q1 first we need to solve this q1 to get the answer in q2 in the same way for q1 here we have q1 this we can use Arden's theorem here but first we need to solve q0 to get q1 and this q0 we can solve using the Arden's theorem because there is no dependency on any another state so let us see them one by one so first we have to solve for q0 because when we solve for q0 we can sub substitute it here and get q1 then solving for q1 we get some regular expression substitute it to q2 and we will get the final equation here now for q0 we are writing this in the form of the Arden's theorem so we are having epsilon plus q0 I have taken this q0 common from the first two terms and what will remain here is a plus b so here it is q0 a plus b as per the Arden's theorem if we have a equation of this form r equal to q plus rp then we can substitute this q plus rp by qp star so it is free from this state r and q and p here are the regular expression so we can see here that this is r which is q0 then epsilon is my q then this is q 0 which is my r and this is again my p a plus b is my p so i can substitute it with r equal to q plus q p star so that will give me q0 equal to q is epsilon and p p is a plus b so a plus b whole star now we know this property epsilon r so epsilon concatenated with any regular expression is that regular expression so i can eliminate this epsilon here and i will have q0 equal to a plus b whole star now let us substitute this q0 in q1 so substituting this q0 a plus b whole star in q1 will give me q1 is equal to a plus b whole star a plus q1 a q0 we have replaced with a plus b whole star again we can apply Arden's theorem here r equal to q plus rp so r is here my q1 q is a plus b whole star a then this r is q1 and p is a so solution will be qp star which is q1 is equal to a plus b whole star a so this is a plus b whole star a plus p star p is my a so here it is a star the regular expression for q1 is a plus b whole star a a star now substituting this q1 into q2 will give me q1 a so it is q1 a plus b whole star a a star this entire term is q1 and a which we have it in the equation of q2 and then q2 i have taken common outside from these two terms will give me q1 followed by a plus b so it is q1 followed by a plus b again applying Arden's theorem will give me this is qp star so q here is a plus b whole star a a star a followed by p star which is a plus b whole star so this my final regular expression of q2 is the regular expression for this given non-deterministic finite automata because my q2 is a 
final state so if my dear friends if there are two final states then what we can do is my regular expression will be or of any of the final state for example let's say if q1 and q2 both are final state then my regular expression will be q1 plus q2 which will be a plus b whole star a a star plus a plus b whole star a a star a a plus b whole star so it will be union of the two regular expression i hope this is very much clear my dear friends thank you for watching this video stay tuned for more videos on theory of computation lecture series